what is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm out here on my boat in the shop and since tournament season is starting up i just want to hop on here real quick and share all some of the stuff we've done to my boat and stuff we're doing to my boat to get it ready for a tournament season uh there's a lot of stuff we changed in here and a lot of people it's stuff they've had problems with in the boat and we've kind of made it better so i just want to show all that and y'all can try this stuff on y'all's tracker if you have one and see how it works out for you but yeah let's get into it Real quick, guys, before the video gets started, I just want to give a big shout out to all my sponsors going to be sponsoring this year. We got Monster Bass, Venom Lures, All Star Home Inspections, Burger Shack, One Hour Heat and Air. On our jerseys, we're going to have Baxley, Penfield Moody Realtors, and Folks Family Dentistry. We got the big sponsors on the side. So, big shout out to them. Yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, so starting up front of the boat, obviously, we got the YouTube logos right here. We got the Garmin 9 inch screen. And one of the things we've changed since last time you saw the boat in a walkthrough video is this Garmin Troll Motor. Got that put on, had the Minn Kota that came on it, switched it out to this. Really great investment as the wireless foot pedal. Everything you can need on this Troll Motor. Spot lock's amazing. As much power as I can need. Really recommend this Troll Motor. They're not sponsored. But if y'all want to sponsor me with Garmin, hit me up. Uh, but yeah, guys. That's the first thing I wanted to change, and it's one of the best things we did to the boat. Uh, coming down here, obviously, we got sponsors, sponsors decals on the side. This we haven't changed that much. This is just storage on this side of the rod locker. You got the life jackets in there. You got extra prop in there, some rope, the throwable, and our nav light in there. On this side of the rod locker, this left side, we got life jackets in here. This is the inflatable ones we used in tournaments. And we're going to be putting the rods in there as well. All right, so coming down to the main box, I'm not go I'm not spending too much time in here because we haven't changed much. But we got all the soft plastics on the side labeled in these bags. Uh, got the line in here, all the extra stuff back there. Got the spinner baits and all of our boxes labeled. And there's terminal tackle right there. We got the old G juice and some eight rigs down there. And then next one of the First things I want to go over that we changed is this right here. Most most of the fiberglass boats you buy nowadays, and some of the aluminum ones have spots already for your measuring sticks and rulers and all that, but ours did not. So put a string on here. You can pull it straight out. Looks like that foam in there is still trying to set, so I don't even put that in yet. But it's supposed to come out really easily. It's just not set up in there because we. I'll show you why there's. We had to put foam in there just a second, but it kind of notched out. Like my finger can go in there, not on this side. Kind of notched out. Fold the carpet cover so it still looks good. But yeah, change that, and once that's all set up, it goes in and right back out. So easily accessible. I have to clean that off because yeah. All right, guys, yeah, obviously, obviously, as you can see, it's not set up yet, which is why that's sticking in there. But once that's dry and it's all cleaned off, the will not stick in there. It's just that foam is not set up yet. And the reason that foam is in there, the spray foam is in there, it's not set up, is because ice chest we changed up. So when we got the boat, the ice chest would not drain for one, and two, it would not keep ice for very long. So we fixed both those problems. We took the this whole part off. We took the ice chest down, we insulated around it, we put foam and foam boards and spray foamed all around it so it stay insulated. We put foam board in here and foam board right there so it stays as insulated as it could be. And another reason we put foam board inside of here is because it wouldn't drain. It would have drained because the drain plug, the lip of it, would stick up about a quarter inch from the bottom. And that would allow that water below it to just sit there and not come out. So now it's going to be even with that. So it'll just flow right in. And you got the plug right here. Yeah, guys. Ice chest. A lot of people have problems with these ice chests in these trackers. That's the best way we found to fix it. I suggest you go try that if you have a tracker and it's not working. Next, we have the tool holder my dad built. It goes into the bottom of this. Got the scissors in there, pliers, more pliers, all right there. Don't worry about the tools. We were using that a little bit ago. Net's sitting right there. Um, on this side of the boat, nothing has really changed except for this switch right here. 
turns on the LED lights so you can change from my phone. And also this switch right here I put in, which powers this plug in right here that I can put my camera in if I want to get a closer shot from the front. Um, on this side, you got my name, which we're going to be changing out to red. We're going to change everything out to red on here so you got that red accent because the boat already has red on it, obviously, like everywhere. So we're going to switch all that stuff out. But right here is another huge thing we have changed in the boat. So before, I'll find up a picture put it on screen. Beforehand, it was just a little tiny cushion of a seat right here, and there was like no backrest to it. So the boat actually came with two pedal stool chairs. So we took the mounting, the mounting bracket off that pedal stool chair, and then we put the chair right there so it has the backrest. So whoever's sitting in the middle, I usually sit in the middle during tournaments because I'm usually telling the boat captain where to go and what to do. So now I sit right here. It's really comfortable. This folds down if you need it to. It still folds up and there's storage under there. And there you go. And you just, I mean, you can just step over it if you need to get over it. But yeah, we got that off. Motor's not broken. Uh, he's trying to figure out how to get the mount for this to lift it up to get that jack plate put on. Because we did get a jack plate for the boat. Um, so coming back here, you got that chair. It's one of the really good things we did. I haven't used it yet on the water, but I feel like it's going to be really good. The live well hasn't changed. We're getting mounting brackets for the cold tags to clip into. But for now, it's staying how it is. This side of the boat is where we're going to be using for trash. We're getting some trash, a trash can that fits down in there. So we don't have to clean it out all the time. We just keep a trash bag in there and pull it out. This side of the boat, this compartment has all the stuff. There's sunscreen, bug spray, another fire extinguisher, some chargers in there, sunglasses, more sunglasses, you know, all the stuff you might need. Um, and then coming to the back of the boat, we haven't really changed anything in here except now we have three batteries inside here instead of two. Um, I'm not sure how... I couldn't tell you how he ran all that through there, but you can look up videos and find how to get three batteries in these trackers. But yeah. So, and the reason we have three batteries is because that trawl motor has to be 24 volt or 36. So we put extra battery in there so we can run that. Uh, but yeah, guys, other than that, I think that's it on the boat and everything we've changed. Now stuff we want to change is these rod lockers is one. I definitely gotta clean that off. Look at that. Oopsie. Move that over here. We'll actually put it inside of here so it doesn't get on the carpet. Um, inside these rod lockers, see these tubes? Yeah, they suck. The rods always bend going in there. They don't come out very well. So we're going to cut all those out and make it just one solid thing you can put the rods into. Same thing on this side, hopefully. I'm getting retractable rod holders right here on each side. Things, everything up front we're gonna change. I wanna get storage to get underneath these seats right here to in the front so you can like pull it out like a drawer or something and keep stuff in there. And eventually we're gonna get power poles on there, but that'll be a while. But other than that, guys, this thing is tournament ready. We have a bunch of tournaments coming up this year. We had one on Arkansas River. It didn't go super well. The camera kept dying, so I don't have footage from that. We caught one fish, which is really, we caught one keeper fish. We caught a lot of fish, they're all too short. But it'll be good for points. If you if you follow my Instagram, you'll know about all that. I keep uploads on there to keep you all updated. So go follow that if you're not already. But yeah, guys, we got some tournaments. We got a tournament out in Michigan this year. Tennessee, no, Georgia and Texas for the Bassmaster High School Trail. Hopefully doing going to do really good at those. Obviously going to get some good footage for y'all. But... Mainly want to do good at the tournaments. We also got like a couple other tournaments. We're fishing the Arkansas High School Bassers Trail and also the Trader Bills High School Trail. So, next tournament's on Greeson. We're going to do some pre fishing this Sunday. So, I'll bring you all along with that. Yeah, guys, other than that, if you enjoyed the boat video, I know I was going to say I was going to do this whenever I got everything set up in here. So, here's the boat video y'all been waiting for. And obviously, I hope this helped a lot of y'all who own these trackers who don't like some of the stuff in here like the seat or the ice chest now y'all know y'all can change it and how to change it and what makes it good in here so yeah guys uh make sure you subscribe down below and go follow my instagram they upload if you have anything you want me to film any videos you want to film comment it down below yeah guys other than that 
See you on the next one. Peace.